Oh, so right now we have we're at the Pato seminar. So he's gonna show some nogi stuff, and yeah, looking forward to learning someone from my size. Oh, these are uh, these are members of the Philippine national team. We have Ken, Andy, Brendo, and Kajan, top level guys. Hey guys, I'm Philip Allegra. I'm the head coach of Lucas Lepri. Today, we got a double header seminar. Oh, nogi today with Diego Pato in the morning and then Guy at night with Talos and Suarez. It's crazy because they just both won bands and they're here today to teach us their jiu-jitsu. Oh, it's going to be a fun day. Um, as a community forward driven team, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone here from different teams. The whole national team of Nogi's here. So it's going to be great roles after. Uh, the energy is starting to fill. Looking forward to everything. Uh, thank you to Prof Tofi for connecting us with the guys. Uh, I don't need to introduce, I mean they just won fans, so you know like right now they're probably the best in the world. Uh, we got Diego Pato this morning and then we got Professor Tyler. Alright guys, thank you for coming. So, I don't like to say too much, but like, let's start it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like to, to work. <laughs> Lepri. What was your role with the professors? Galing, sobrang galing. Like they're they're not even trying, but very nice with the technique exchange. And of course, na try ko yung pressure passing ni Salison. It's very amazing. Are you different with rolling with them and rolling with other people you train with? Um, with them, they they're like giving you different scenarios. And of course, bagong body type, so medyo similar with me, so very, very technical. And of course, hindi sila masadong crazy with their pressure, with the strength. Very, ano, very technical yung exchange. Kamo sila man yung like level of technique when it comes to feeling. They're tr they'll try, and then bigla sila mag to change to another to another technique just to see if it'll work and then may transition again to ano, grab it tuloy tuloy yung exchange and movement nila uh, hello i'm brando max buddha from um, team fabricio brown belt good bro uh, very high level uh, we need trading partners like them Yeah, uh, for me, napasin ko yung nagmamato yung very small detail ng technique. Um, some, of, some of their technique ginagawa na natin, pero yung small detail talaga yung, yung nagmamato, very important. May nakakuha ka bang submission sa kanila kanila? Ah, wala. Full entries lang. Kamusta <laughs> yung role sila? Kamusta yung role sila? Uh, ah, bro, may feel mo yung, yung level of techniques talaga. Different. So... Hi, I'm Hiroshi Hirasawa from Pat Studio, and today uh, we had earlier we had a class uh, with Diego Pato uh, for Nogi this afternoon, and from now uh, we're gonna have a class professor with uh, Talisan, and I'm so excited to join. How was uh, the class a while ago? Oh yes, it was amazing. Like uh, it was Nogi class. I don't play Nogi much, but so it was kind of hard to catch up the fall sleep. But uh, I enjoyed the uh, like a lot of like option. I learned a lot of options from fall sleep. Alright, with that being said, are you looking forward to the Nogi class? 
Yes, uh, so much. I'm sorry, what was your question? Are you looking forward to the Gi class? Yes, of course. Like, uh, I have, like, he's one of the best. Uh, as a teacher, uh, he, of course, he's, like, very known for a good competitor, but I heard he's uh, also very good at teaching as well, so I'm really excited. Before we get started, I just want to thank everyone for being here. Uh, it's always just like earlier what I said during the Nogi session. The vision of our team is always like community forward, we like hosting talent and having everyone train and get better together. So this morning it was Professor Diego Bato leading the class. Tonight it'll be Professor Allison Suarez, guys. No need for introductions, these guys just want fans, so there's a number of people. Um, really happy to be back here, being here a few times already. And thank you guys for all supporting uh, the seminars and be here ready to learn. Uh, we're going to do some guided passing, we're going to start for, for warm up here. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ivan Grimes. I represent uh, Team Philippines at 77 kilos and below. Um, how's the seminar going so far? Uh, pretty awesome. I've learned some really new stuff. I, <laughs> I had seen kind of the, the, the leg trap before, but I never saw some of those details that he was showing using the head to pummel. Um, some of his ways to actually put yourself in the lasso. I had never seen that before, so it was kind of mind-blowing, yeah. Any specific techniques uh, that stuck to you? Uh, yeah, really that head pommel from the, uh, the, leg, the leg trap position. I had always just thought of it as a basic kind of leg drag, but he has a whole system based on that position, which, I mean, just added so much detail. I, I felt like before I was just like using like, uh, you know, horse and buggy, now I'm using a freaking Jaguar, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, hi, I'm Noah Wichoko from Team Fabricio, uh, under 77, the national team. And hi, I'm Ash Valuyo from Andos. I fight in under 52 kilos for women's league. How do you guys feel about the seminar so far? Sulet. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was really nice because he's able to elevate the leg drag and he also shows a lot of his techniques that even uh, when I watch him on YouTube or in reels, he really showcases how he does the certain technique and he doesn't really skimp on the details. Not only that, at the end he's very generous with questions. So I definitely learned a lot. We definitely learned a lot in the seminar. Yeah. Any specific techniques that Like trap, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Yeah. For, for me it was uh, how he was using his head to kind of finish the leg drag. I thought that was super clever because I've, I've never thought of it and leg drag is my favorite pass. Yeah. Right. So that question, like, do you guys have any messages to the Lucas Lepre management? Thank you for organizing these awesome yeah. seminars as always. We've been here uh, yeah. for I think two or three seminars already for different guys and it's always fun coming back. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Iman Saver and Baluyo. I'm currently 17 years old. I'm from Emerge Jiu-Jitsu, which is part of Project Lifestyle Manila. Uh, I'm going to be competing in uh, under 69 kilograms in under 21 years old. Oh, I really like the uh, leg trap parts of the uh, seminar because uh, I never really got to experiment much with uh, lots of things uh, regarding uh, leg passes. I was more of a speed passer where I just spin one leg and then just go go straight to any kind of position I can hold on to. But this was actually kind of an eye-opener because it opened up so many possibilities of me because I, w I was going through like to the sides and the sides, but I had no other options on what to do. So this was, very, this was really like a really good eye-opener for what I can do. I was actually kind of sad that we didn't get to roll with Talison, but uh, I don't want to get injured anyway, so, <laughs> but that's all right. But, uh, as much as possible, I learned so much in this seminar and that's what I'm thankful to, that I'm here. Please let me train here more. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Mark Lim, Mark Alexander Lim from Team Fabricio, Camp House Fabricio. Uh, I'm also in the national team, under 69 kilos, and yeah. Uh, so Mark, like, how do you feel about, what did you feel about the seminar so far? Oh, the seminar is really good. Like, um, these are concepts that, you know, top level black belts use. This is Sathalison and Diego Pato. The level literally doesn't get any higher. They're the best in the world. So for the, I see them use it during their matches and then I see it during their videos. And to see it live, there's actually a difference. So it's, it's really, really good. Um, any specific techniques that stuck to your head? Yeah, uh, just the leg pin to the leg trap in general. Um, I tried, I tried working on those for the, I think the past couple of weeks. But there are details, um, like how he puts the foot on shoulder inside the lasso, and how he likes to be outside of the guard. Yeah, um, the the whole seminar. I've been, you know, I really like it. So. Yeah. Okay, sorry. The one last question. Yeah, no like, worries. Uh, do you have any messages for the Lucas Lepre management? Oh yeah, for sure. Um. You know, good luck. Thank you for bringing world-class athletes here. It's going to help the jiu-jitsu community in the Philippines. And all the best. And, you know, yeah, all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all your efforts. Hi, I'm Andy. I'm from the national team. And I'm training with Carpe Diem in Makati. Um, it was really awesome. Like There were a lot of performance-enhancing details that they showed. It felt like I was back in AOJ, where the techniques were mind-blowing. Um, yeah. Any specific techniques that stuck to your head during the seminar? Just the lasso passing concepts, because I've had like a lot of trouble dealing with the lasso. A lot of times when I compete abroad, like a lot of my opponents are good at it. Like they play um, really tight lasso game, and they attack from there. So now, like I'm gonna test it out in the upcoming competition in Abu Dhabi. Will you be attending like the other days? Yeah, most likely the last day in Atos. Thank you so much for inviting me to this seminar. It was really awesome.